How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pack Opening and Shuffles with the Boston team. Uh, pretty normal week this week, except for I have, I just barely was able to afford the Diamond Vintage Pack. Like when I went to bed last night, I had like 2,840 stars. So I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I went all week without refreshing League Balls at all, and I just barely skinned it by the skin of my teeth so I'm very happy about that and of course those of you who have been watching th this team for a few months now know how the last one went and hopefully I can catch lightning in a bottle twice or get a decent Boston player from it at least so let's jump into the pack opening not a whole lot of silvers and premiums this week because I didn't I don't think I made any free agent attempts. Wasn't anybody that really moved the needle from the Boston deck. I did finally. My uh, club finally reached level 7. So we finally were able to craft some premium free agent tickets, which is nice. They're a little on the expensive side. They're 200 club coins each. Which really adds up when you're doing two of them a week. 400 coins a week is a lot of coins. Alright, got a Kimbrel upgrade chance. Hopefully we can pull a diamond out of premiums. Okay, got one more chance. Jackie, Dra Jackie Bradley Jr. upgrade chance. No diamonds for premiums, that sucks. That was like 37 of them. Alright, hopefully we can get some upgrades going here. That's right, they got a column A too. Alright, let's go. Just one away from uh, being able to finish him out in special training room. That'd be nice. He had a really nice week this week too at closer. I think he had like a 1.8 ERA with two losses against 97 saves, which is phenomenal. So it's nice to have your closer position locked down at least. And the rest of my bullpen's pretty unreliable at this point. The one thing that I'm really hoping I can get now is all I need is one solid Boston reliever, and I can finally get my uh, bullpen all sorted out. That would be really, really nice if I could get one, like even like a Matt Barnes. Or a Kim, or basically anybody that's like a 65 or 66 OVR that doesn't have tons of right side stats. Like I think the other day, uh, Brazier showed up in free agents and I almost rolled free agent tickets on him. But I checked his base stats and I didn't because he has like 75 fastball in like mid 60s location and velocity. So even, I think he had either a 65 or 66 OVR, but so much of it went to fastball that I really didn't even feel like messing with that card. Didn't have any skills on it, so just let that one go. I mean, I might try to work with it, like if I pulled it out of a pack or a shuffle, but I'm not going to blow a bunch of free agent tickets on it, especially with the way my free agent luck has been absolutely horrible lately on this account. Can't get a free agent to save my life. And it's just as bad on the Houston team. I'm 0 for 69 now. Trying to sign players on the Houston team. And I've only moved the bar halfway. That's really pathetic. Oh, there's a Boston reliever. But he's gold, and I honestly don't think the Boston Andrew Miller is all that good. 
Wow, that's an awesome relief pitcher. Holy shit, I don't even know who that guy is. How do you have a 70 base here? And I don't even know who he is, and he plays in the Brewers division. That's crazy. Probably wouldn't use that card, though, without good skills, because... I mean, I have a prime Billy Wagner. And you know what? Actually, if I don't get any players worth uh, using skill changes on today, I'm probably going to try to get skills on him. I really don't want to do that because he's not a team card, and I already have my 25th player in Giambi, who's literally my best batter, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So ideally, I really don't want to commit skill changes to a non-team player. But he is one of the very best primes in the entire game, so I guess if I'm going to do that, might as well do it on an elite prime. And try to sort my bullpen out, because my set of pitchers are just garbage. They have like a 4.5 ERA every week. And I'm only in like iron, so I'm not even getting hit by shit tons of spotlight or anything. They really shouldn't be that bad. Oh, for Christ's sake. I guess I can check skills on that Heath Bell. And the crazy thing is I have three good skills on my, uh, on that column A that I just upgraded. I've got Dom 6, Touch 6, and Mess 4. Which is a really nice skill set. Like, that would be lights out on a starting pitcher. So I really don't know why he gets shelled every week. That's just beyond me. Just stupid. I mean, you're not going to get a skill set much better than that, even on a relief pitcher. And he's a halfway decent relief pitcher. But he gets lit up every week. Really can't understand it. Even in uh, bronze elo. Really, pitchers just get destroyed, I guess. Just goes to show how un unbalanced this game is at this point. Well, I'm going to check the skills on these couple of uh, relief pitchers that I got. Okay, nothing there. So we'll be getting comboed. I guess I comboed him already on accident. Nothing there. Man, I've got tons of diamonds to combo away. Oh, I've been doing gold combos. That sucks. I've got plenty of diamonds to combo away. And I've been comboing just golds. So I'm probably going to run out of uh, golds then. Actually, I got plenty of ultimate packs, so I'm not going to run out of golds, I don't think. Unless I get really lucky and keep getting a bunch of diamonds. You know, I think I used to have that Chew Smiley card a while ago. It didn't have any skills, though, so I got rid of them. Both that card's got really nice skills, he might be useful. That's a really nice shuffle, there we go. Although nobody's really that um, interesting, I can't believe how low the Orosa Reina's eye is. 62 in normal condition, that's insane. That's like... Uh, I think that's probably worse than Keston Heroes. Nothing on either of those, so they'll be getting comboed. And let's open the rest of these packs here. Come on, Legend. I uh, got a Dom DiMaggio. He's really not that great. He's got too low of power. 
I mean, if I got that card in diamond, I probably wouldn't mind it. I'd probably go on the bench unless it had great skills. Let's open some team select packs here. Got a gold Tembri, but he's already level 20, unfortunately, so that card doesn't do me any good. Except for combo material. Another gold, okay. Jackie Bradley Jr. I might use that for upgrade material, I'm not sure. Because he really doesn't fit into my lineup plans. So I'm probably not, uh... Oh, three out of three gold, that's pretty good. Probably not going to use that card for upgrade material. Rather use a gold for combo material. Another Dempster. Mm -hmm. Wish I could do that on my other phone, but I don't know how. Okay, nothing really useful out of those gold packs. That's pretty normal, though. 11 holds. Let's get some diamonds, baby. At least one. Two diamonds. That's actually pretty decent. Another J Jackie Bradley Jr. That's a nice Altuve. Nice Cabrera. Ooh. Decent skills on that Altuve. But I'm no longer needing a second baseman, unfortunately. So it's not going to help me out. Kikuchi. And last but not least. Let's open this Diamond Vintage Player Pack. And hopefully at least a Boston team. know who that guy is. Bob Welch? I don't even know he played for the A's. Okay, it's really not a great card. Well, that's not a good card at all. It's got your typical vintage high stamina, low velocity base. So I'll do some upgrades. Hopefully they go through. Oh, I only have Jackie Bradley. I thought I had more than that. That's weird. Well, let me check the the bench backup or whatever. Okay, nothing useful there either. So let's do the last of the combos. It's not a bad Wilson Ramos, but I don't really need a catcher anymore. It's not a bad brand of belt. But I got first base covered, so not really useful to me. Unless it has fantastic skills. It's actually some halfway decent diamonds in that shuffle. bad card although he didn't have a great year would have been a lot better if that was 18 or 19 oh there's a team diamond although wow that was okay never mind i was thinking that was a 21 which is okay but that's a pretty crappy year Like, even if I would have got that card, he would have had to come with some super good skills in order to even possibly be useful. Ooh, that was close to being a really good skill set, but it's decent, but not going to be seeing my lineup over Rizzo or uh, Giambi, that's for sure. So 
I hate to get in conflict over here. Oh, that's a really nice second baseman. That floor is. Some decent cards in this shuffle. Joe Smith. That's not one of his better years. But we'll check his skills out. Maybe he's got some kind of monster skill set. Got a Juris Familiar Prime Chance. Really not that great of a card, but it will be nice for Prime Combos at the end of the month. The Hendrix, though, that's a really nice card. 93 left side stats at level 1. Oh, just got a crappy fold. Hopefully I got enough gold for another couple combos here. It's got to be a low GIA Wade Davis because that's a pretty solid card. It's probably like a 61 OPR or 61 grade increase. Mm, Amir Garrett might be okay with skills. Definitely don't want to combo that the Mayhew. Oh, that sucks. That's going to be it for my combos because I really don't want to use that workman. I'm going to hold on to him. In case, well, I mean, I, ideally I would get a 19 workman at some point. I mean, he's the second best reliever for the team. Hasn't showed up in free agent since I started this team. Gotta show up at some point, I would think. And I've been opening all these teams like Diamond Packs, still haven't gotten them. Not even a bad year. So, yeah, I was actually pretty disappointed in, um... Uh, who is it? Oh, John Lester. He was easily my, f my fourth worst, or fourth best uh, starting pitcher. Like, he barely had a better week than uh, Trevor Bauer, who, of course, is going to be replaced by Rodriguez as soon as I finally get him up to level 20 and get him trained for finesse. Got him up to level 14, so pretty soon here. And, yeah, I, I am absolutely... Um, Shocked how he did so poorly this week. I mean, I don't want to say he did bad. He had like a 2.3 ERA. But honestly, if, if you're rolling with a 2.3 ERA in, in bronze ELO, you're probably going to get destroyed in, in gold one. So that's, that's a good looking skill set. Actually, let me see. I think he still is missing the Dom bonus because I haven't, uh, okay, well, speaking of that, oh, I, f I forgot to preload him with black diamond pieces. Let me just make sure I have enough. Okay, I do, so I'm going to make him black diamond because he's my only team six starter, so that makes a lot of sense. Gonna get him black diamond. And then, if he doesn't have it ready, I'm going to open up a skill storage on him and try to get better skills. Although I have a feeling once I get him Black Diamond and then get him, I think, special trained one more level would get him the um, Dom bonus. I think once I get him to um, stamina 120 for the inning eater bonus and then get the Dom bonus, he'll at least be a bit better than he is now. But I really don't have anybody else to roll premium skill changes on. 
and I'm not going to in the near future because I think my next Black Diamond player is going to be probably Kimbrel. And that's going to be at least a few weeks, if not a month, until I get enough Black Diamond pieces to get him Black Diamond. So, going to try to roll some premium skill changes on this Luster and try to get something really nice. Although it kind of sucks that I don't have any greens or blues to use that with. Because I end up blowing through every single one of them to get a good second skill on Trot Nixon. Which fortunately worked out on the last one. Otherwise I would have been really upset about that. Just 10 more, I think, and he's done. All right, what a beast. Yeah, so he's got 120 stamina right now. He's got three from the stamina gear, so when I take that out, he'll be at 120, so he'll at least be getting the full ending eater bonus at this point. Let me see if I have skill storage on him. Okay, good. So I don't have to blow any stars on that. And hopefully I can continue my uh, string of luck with premium skill changes on this account. Seems like I've had a lot better luck doing those than on my main Brewers account. Wait, I, th I thought I... That's weird. Didn't I just change those skills? But it's letting me see the other ones for some reason. Unless I clicked on the wrong card to begin with. Whatever, okay. Alright, hopefully this works out. I saw last post and thought I had something decent. Nope. Ooh. I am going to have to keep that. Because that's the best skill in the game for a starting pitcher. And that's going to be an absolute no-brainer for using the green. Or maybe even the Christmas blue on. I was planning on using the Christmas blue ticket on Trot Nixon to try to get a real nice third skill on that card. But I think I might end up using it on this card to try to get a good second skill. That would be awesome. Is there anyone else I can use one of these on? No on Nixon, no on Sale. 
definitely not on Eovaldi, so I think I'm going to hold on to that last premium skill change to get. So who do I want to use regular skill change tickets on? Since I didn't get any cards worthy of uh, adding to my team from shuffles or anything. You know, this Embry is level 20. If I can roll some really nice skills on him, I think he would be my new setup pitcher. Because I'd be able to get him uh, special trained up right away. I don't really have anybody to special train after JDM. He should be finished pretty soon here. And I guess if I want to blow through all my upgrade tickets, I could start special training Trot Nixon. But I think I'm going to hold on to my upgrade tickets for... I'm probably going to end up getting the SIG change ticket. And I still haven't made up my mind who I want to use that with. It's probably going to be a player that's already level 20, like Sailor or Eovaldi, or Eovaldi, but I'm going to think about that for a little bit more. If you got any suggestions for who I should use a uh, SIG change ticket on, I'm probably going to wait until later next week because I'm probably going to get the team select SIG pack and then open up a batter since it's impossible for me to get a duplicate. And I'll just pray that I don't get Trot Nixon or um, Bogarts because they have such insanely good skills. It would be a bummer to have to replace those cards with the SIG because I'm most likely not going to get skills that good on a new SIG card so yeah let me know which player that you would uh, use a SIG change on at this point I'm thinking about using it on uh, Sale, Eovaldi or Nixon but if you got any other suggestions let me know in the comments actually since I would have to, well, let, let me make sure, let me double check. I don't think I have skill storage opened up on this Embry. Nope, so I really don't feel like using 500 stars since I hardly, I hardly have that many. Hardly have any stars at this point. Although, I don't know, because I don't, hmm, let me think about this for a second. I really don't want to land great skills on a non-team prime because that's going to like bogart me from getting a team S deck in the near future if I have to use two really good non-team players. Because the Giambi's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's my best batter, so he'll be my 25th player at least for quite a while. You know what? I think I'm just going to open up a skill storage on that uh hembry don't want to but Wudam giant killer i thought he had something going there but nope just one decent skill so let's try to land something good hopefully not a middle relief skill set Ascending meter, not very good. Stability, nothing. Nothing. Pitching machine, nothing. Dom stability, that'd be decent, but not really what I'm looking for. I mean, that'd be about as good as what he has, which is setup man stability. Well, 
Wow, this has been terrible so far. Nothing even remotely worthy of even considering keeping. Still garbage. Wow, this is bad. Iron Will Finesse, that would be okay for Middle Relief, but that's not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> oh, 20 skill changes in and nothing even remotely worth keeping. Finesse Iron Will, I think I just had that. Five left, four left. And one more left. Wow, that was terrible. Holy Christ, was that bad. That was easily one of the worst skill change periods I've ever had. I mean, 30 tickets and absolutely nothing. And the sad thing is, at this point in the game for a Leaf Pitcher, I mean, there's so many different skills that, that are useful. And I just got completely nothing out of them. Well, at least I got a slow starter on Lester, and he'll be due for... If not a Christmas Blue, hopefully they put those uh, greens and blues for sale again soon. I don't think they're going to because I think it was a couple months since the last time they put them for sale. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can get something going on that card and get some good skills on a relief pitcher soon. Alright, I'll be making another video for the Brewers account coming up here. So, uh, thanks everyone and have a nice week. Thank you.